it's one thing after another today. Looks like I'm going back down there. This strap was on the U joint on the rear drive shaft. There we go. We're here in the woodshed, Jason's woodshed, tool shed. What do you call your shed? Ah, uh, the tool shed. About to work on our drive shaft, don't you know? So we're gonna steal a U joint off the drive shaft on Jason's Jeep and throw it on the drive shaft on Jade. Very honorable of you, sir. His take is, well, the Jeep's not gonna be ready for a while anyways, that's what he says. the jamboree right there. <laughs> yeah. Five minutes into the trail. Wow, look at you, you think you're cool, hmm? The slip shaft right here, it's just caked in mud. It's actually locked up, seized. So, that's my bad. I should've been greasing that up a lot more, live and learn, going through a lot of mud puddles lately. And there's a lot of rain. So, different environment, a lot more extreme conditions, gotta be Greasing up the shaft. So it's seized up a little bit and we gotta unseize it. Throw in a new U-joint. This is a month and a half out east. You can see how dirty and grimy all this is. Getting all the dirt, grease, and grime out of here. And then we'll be looping it up, throwing it back in, getting the U-joint on and calling her day. Both sides of the drive shaft have a gouge missing. See right there. You can see right there as well. That's the damage that was done. Doesn't look like it's gonna throw off how the U-joint seats here in the yoke. The other damage that was done, this is one of the straps, tore the metal right up. And the bolts snapped off in the rear differential yoke. But it sounds like... Tap to spin them out. Really? Should it start spinning them out? Yeah. Wow, that's very fortunate. The bolt right here and the bolt right here snapped off and that yoke on this rear differential. But with a chisel and a hammer, Jason is able to get them to turn. So, we got pretty lucky there. Needle nose pliers, the next tool for the job. Wow, wow, just like that. A little souvenir for you. Yeah. Oh yeah, so many memories right here. Yeah, you can keep it. We'll hold on to it forever. Maybe make a necklace out of it. Yeah. Souvenir number two. Number two. That's how you do it. Last bolt. And the drive shaft is on with the new U joint. Greased up drive shaft. New strap. First initial backing up, driving forward, parking, <laughs> no issues. In the morning, I'm gonna take her for a ride, but it's going on like 10 o'clock, it's getting late, and we're just gonna crash in the driveway tonight. Jason is hooking us up with the grill so we don't have to whip out any of our gear. All we gotta do is throw sleeping bags up on the roof, and we are set for the night. So in the morning, we'll test out the drive shaft. I think it's gonna be just fine. It's the next morning. Been driving around for a solid 10, 15 minutes through the city. Took her on the highway as well, and seems to be solid. No drive line vibrations, no sloppiness whatsoever. So, Jason saved the day. Good as new. Better than a new. Thanks to Jason lending parts from his Jeep, we are ready to hit the road again. And state number 10 on the 50 state road trip is Massachusetts. We gotta do a little bit of shuffling around to get ready for Massachusetts, being that the gun laws are different, you know, just gotta abide by states going from state to state across the country. Always looking in those laws. So we might end up hanging in Vermont for another few days, doing some editing, getting our 
gun situated and things like that, but then we are off to Massachusetts. Now we'll be announcing the Massachusetts J Jamboree very shortly here. Speaking of which, if any of you live in Massachusetts or are in the greater New England area and have some good ideas for the next J Jamboree, please do not hesitate to send me an email at officialimjake at gmail.com. That's the best way to get a hold of me. Title the email something in capital letters about the J Jamboree Massachusetts idea, something like that, and that would be perfect. So I'd love to get your guys' insight and your recommendations. Really looking forward to heading to Massachusetts, never been there before, and I can't wait to meet so many of you guys at the Massachusetts J Jamboree. And I'd like to end this video with some thank yous to new Patreon pledges. Christopher Ray and John Hosford. Christopher and John, thank you guys so much for helping us out, keeping us on the road. It means a lot, you guys. Yeah.